Howdy folks. Uh, like I've been saying for nine months now, the flat earth forces the rats into the spotlight. And here's another rat, Max Eigen, supposed truth teller. Uh, the Crow House, you may know him as. He's got 20,000 subscribers. And he's just put out a uh, fake flight debunking video. 100% debunked. Well, you're going to have to come and check it out and uh, judge that for yourself. But look, already 222 thumbs up, 30 thumbs down. Wow, it must be a good video, huh? <laughs> well, not. This guy is a shill, folks, if you haven't figured that out. Um, most of his subscribers, though, as you'll see in the comments section, are of the early awareness type. Um, they're probably just waking up, quote unquote, and uh, they're still in the spoon fed uh, phase where they don't do their own research or think for themselves yet. Uh, they just listen to other people. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what happened when the flat earth caught on fire last year. It forced all these channels uh, to take a look at the flat earth. Or they should have, anyways. And then they, you know, landed on either side of the fence. If they landed on the spinning ball side of the fence, that just meant that the flat earth wasn't in their script. Because who wants to try and defend uh, that we live on a spinning ball? Uh, it can't be done. So instead of doing stuff like that, Max never even touched the topic. This is his very first time making a video that says anything about flat earth. Uh, because, you know, that's part of his script. Um, and all the big channels uh, didn't touch the Flat Earth. Alex Jones listeners, uh, Dabu7 listeners, all those people are still early on people that get spoon-fed. If you do a little research, you start figuring out that these people are lying to you. Um, in some ways, they feed you some truth and some lies. That's their job. Uh, but uh, let's move on. Uh, by the end of this video, you'll know that Max is definitely a shill for the spinning ball. He's not a truth teller. Um, and we'll point out some other people like that too. And now let's take a look at just how far they'll go uh, to make you believe that these flights are real. Um, check this out. Well, we're actually very excited that Quanta is now flying directly to Chile. It's only a 13-hour flight, which makes it very accessible. It was a colorful start for QF Flight 28 to Santiago, with Chilean dancers performing their national dance at Sydney Airport, giving passengers on the plane an exciting send-off for the 13-hour non-stop journey to this new Qantas destination. And guess who was there to meet them on arrival? Good morning. Yes, none other than John Travolta, the airline's ambassador at large in his pilot's uniform. Even workers on the ramp strained to get a look at the famous actor, who later spoke at a PAC media conference. The two wonderful countries being able to come together uh, with one flight, a non-stop flight from Sydney to Santiago. Simple, simple trip. Later, Trafalta mixed with the Santiago based Aussie business community at a reception at the Australian Ambassador's home and impressed all with his friendly, gracious manner. So, I'm very, very proud to be part of this inaugural flight today. Uh, marrying uh, these two wonderful countries. All right, well, now you've just witnessed uh, John Travolta's packed news conference. I'm sure you guys all remember that. Uh, but that is proof that these flights are real. I mean, come on. John Travolta would have to be in on it folks if these were some kind of fake flights 
Good morning from snowy Colorado. Alright, so this is the comment that started it. Uh, Max showing his true colors uh, four months ago. So he was a little late to the party. My videos came out nine months ago. Um, but I've seen this type of comment almost identical. Uh, probably two dozen or more times um, from Shills saying that they've been on these fake flights um, and Shills have an agenda and you can see it in their comments but if you can't tell by their comment look at their um, accounts most of them don't have any subscribers any videos um, usually no activity um, but if there is activity a lot of times you'll see that they've liked uh, thumbed up flat earth debunking videos and NASA videos and such like that so you can see their agenda and uh, I'm showing this conversation because um, Max claims that he reached out to the flat earth community for months and nobody would take him up on his challenge and I said I would play his game the whole time so you can read these comments and uh, judge for yourself who the shill is here I'll just kind of scroll through. You can pause and read. Uh, but yeah, four months ago, he spammed all my flight videos with this. And uh, now he's come out with this video. And it is a piece of junk. <laughs> Doesn't debunk anything. So, um, yeah, check it out. And uh, there you have it. That's the whole conversation there. Uh, here's the fake itinerary he offers as proof uh, that these flights are real. Uh, but if you know anything about itineraries, um, this is saying that uh, this flight was uh, Santiago to Sydney via Auckland. Um, but it doesn't give any details for landing and taking back off in New Zealand, a separate country altogether, um, which wouldn't fly with New Zealand. So there would be uh, flight times for landing and departing again in New Zealand also if this was a real itinerary. And anybody could make something like this up. So uh, think folks, these flights cannot be real. Um, flight times and mileage are impossible. Alright, now I'm going to clarify uh, how I came to these fake flight discoveries and um, hopefully you'll understand a little bit more uh, about them after this. Uh, if you saw my videos you know that I used um, Fair Compare and uh, I used it because it had the best information uh, of all the sites and it may have been some kind of little hub um, for all the other sites to use their information off of uh, but they didn't offer this much information and uh, if you go to Fair Compare now, uh, you'll notice that it's nothing like this. None of the sites are. Uh, none of them give you any kind of information like this anymore. And that happened about two weeks after my video came out. Fair Compare totally changed their whole website and their search format. Um, and uh, I think it, it jumbled everything uh, for a while there. Some of the flights totally disappeared from searches at points some of the flights that I was calling out um, uh, there was a lot of changes going on and the funny thing about it was um, uh, fair compares uh, site if you went to it um, you know typing it in uh, you would get their new site but I was using a link that I had saved um, while I was doing my research and that link still brought me back to their original site and uh, so I kept using it um, all the way up until it totally disappeared and uh, I could see them changing um, the flights uh, they added more fake flights <laughs> and then some would disappear like some that um, I don't know what they were maybe they were just trying to do some figuring it out and stuff but sometimes they'd be in the searches and sometimes they wouldn't um, I was checking these fake flights uh, a lot after they uh, change that and that was a dead giveaway to me that uh, 
that I was on to something uh, because right after that change um, my video was being heavily attacked and the numbers were were um, really growing it was getting a lot of views quickly and that's because a lot of these shills uh, were passing it around uh, for like group attacks so you know the real battle on this video took place for the first two two or three months when it came out um, you know I don't really battle with too many people anymore I did at the beginning though <laughs> But, alright, I'll go back and uh, try and explain this to you. Oops. Alright, here we have Qantas 27, the star of our show today. Uh, this flight is definitely fake. Um, and this is the one that Max said he just took with that debunking video. <laughs> uh, this flight is supposedly a 12 hour and 40 minute flight. 7,000 miles, 7,044. See all this information here? You'll never get this on any site anymore. Look, it also shows Monday, Wednesday, um, and Saturday are the days that it's available. So, another dead giveaway. It's only available three days a week. Another easy way for you to just accept that you're not going to get that flight when you don't. Oh, well, you know whatever but uh, basically here's the deal um, this flight is fake and so is this flight right here this Auckland flight uh, it's a one stop so it goes from Sydney to Auckland to Chile and that total distance is 7,337 miles um, that one's a fake also that's one of the ones that I called out all the other ones are real and look at the mileage it's double and the reason that it is um, you know these are two and three stops uh, and this is their flight pass uh, the two and three stops and bear with me you know you can see the equator here so you know that they have to go all the way from the southern hemisphere all the way up into Canada or San Francisco or LA and then all the way back down here to Chile what? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Especially if the Earth is an oblate spheroid, so they'd be having to go all the way around the chubby part of the Earth and then back uh, basically twice. Um, so, uh, that's where it doesn't make sense. You know, and then they have this one non-stop and then one or one stop. Uh, but you'll never get those because those aren't available because the real mileage looks like this you can see when it's mapped out on a flat earth map those boomerang flight routes that don't make a whole lot of sense on a ball uh, make a lot of sense on the flat earth the reason they have to stop in Canada San Francisco and LA is because that's about the halfway point uh, on their trip on the way, right on the way. Um, so, uh, you know, a lot of flat earthers aren't even getting this. This is one of the long haul flights. Some people think that the flights are real and they just disappear over the over the ocean as soon as they take off. And you can see it on those GPS tracking things. Well, are you doing any logical thinking? <laughs> they can't be real so that GPS stuff has to be bullshit too and guess who presented that Mark Sargent Mr. Gatekeeper so people keep tossing around these GPS things and stuff like that that's part of his disinfo uh, because you can see some of these fake flights that have to be fake because there's no way they could do that amount of distance in 12 hours and 40 minutes this is Sydney to Santiago um, all the other flights uh, that are going through Canada and San Francisco and LA are almost double 14,000 uh, to 15,000 miles um, and this flight Sydney to Santiago was only supposed to be 7,000 miles uh, logic is where I keep saying logic but people are like what logic 
this is the logic part so any flat earther that uh, says that these aren't fake flights is not using logic they're using Mark Sargent's videos <laughs> but look at the distances between all these uh, you know quote southern hemisphere countries uh, here's another one that I proved it on uh, going from Johannesburg to Perth which is right here Singapore is um, right in here somewhere it's almost a straight line from Johannesburg to Singapore to Perth which is um, a few thousand miles more than what they're saying Johannesburg to Perth is so there's your lie right there that can't be a real flight how can there be a couple thousand miles difference when it's almost an exact straight line um, more logic uh, but Check out my videos and see what I'm talking about. Alright, so I pretty much presented my case. QF-27 is a fake flight. Uh, meaning that Max Eigen is a lying shill who will go as far as faking evidence to lie for the spinning ball. Uh, he's lying to all of his subscribers and anybody else who checks out his video. And, um... What else did we learn? Uh, we learned that most of Max's subscribers are kind of dumb. Uh, at least 223 of them. Um, yeah. If you believe, you need to go and look at this video. I'll leave links for it. Um, I'll also leave links for my fake flight videos. You guys be the judge. And just be aware. Uh, a lot of these guys you think are giving you truth um, are fakes. Uh, there's very few actual truth tellers out there that have no agenda uh, you know he's got his script a lot of people are trying to make money from you uh, anybody that's asking for money to give you truth is is a sham uh, it doesn't cost money I've been doing it for 10 years even though only a year on YouTube but uh, I never once thought of asking for money and I never would. It doesn't make sense. Anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Max is a lying shill for the spinning ball. The earth is flat and that is that.